Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in this video we will learn about how to create custom report type in Salesforce. So in this video we will deep dive into what is the report type in Salesforce. Then I will explain why we need to create report type and then we will see using the scenario how we can create custom report type in Salesforce. So in this video I am going to explain the report type in Salesforce in detail. For that watch the video till end and don't miss any topic and if you are new to our channel hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so whenever we post a new video you will get an update. And before moving ahead here is very big announcement for the Salesforce Geekers. We recently launched a Salesforce admin training course in that we explain every concept in a simple and easy to understand way so you can learn step by step with the confidence. So this course is for beginner to the advanced level in that we have covered 10 modules you will get lifetime access. So here you can see here we have covered 10 modules introduction to Salesforce, Salesforce navigation and setup. After that Salesforce user management. Then we also have covered Salesforce apps, object and tabs. After that the Salesforce fields and formulas, UI customization in Salesforce. After that Salesforce reports and dashboards, Salesforce data management and Salesforce flows. So in this course we have covered everything from beginner to the advanced level. So if you are serious about launching your Salesforce career, check out the course now. We have provided the link in the description box. You can go through it. Now let's jump to the topic. So let's understand what are the report types in Salesforce. A report type is like a template for the reports. So while understanding the report type, let's navigate to the Salesforce org. There we can understand in a better way. So here I am navigating to the Salesforce org. So first let me navigate to the report tab. For that, click on app launcher and then search for the reports. Here I am opening the reports. And now as you click on this new report button to create the new report, here we need to select the report type. So here you can see here we have select report type. Now as I click on this all category, now here we will see all the standard and custom report types. So as I scroll down, here we only have the standard report types. Now I will show you how we can create the custom report type in Salesforce. So before that let's understand what is the meaning of creating report type in Salesforce. So we have seen a report type is like a template for the report in Salesforce. Now as I open this contacts and account report type, so here I am clicking on this and then as I click on this start report, so first let me remove the default filter to display the result. In the show me, here I am selecting all accounts. So here we have all accounts, click on apply and then in the created date, here I am changing the range from the custom to all time and then click on apply. Now here we can see the records. Now here we have some fields as a columns, here you can see and initially here we have limited columns. Now as I click on this outline and then as we click on these columns, now here we will see the fields from the account and contact object that we can add to this report. Now these things we can decide in the report type. That means in the report type we can select the primary object which is here account then we can select the secondary object in this case the contact is the secondary object. Now after creating the report type for these objects we can decide which fields we want to display in those report type or in that report type. Now for example here I am going back here I am discarding this one again click on new report click on all. And now here I am searching for the student. As you scroll down here you can see here we have one standard report type which is students with course name. Here I am selecting this one and then click on start report. Again here I am removing the default filter. Now initially here we have two columns as I click on this outline. And then as we click on this add column, now sometimes for the other users we want to create template so that they can use that template and according to that they will create the report. Now in this standard report type here we have student object and then course object. So from those objects all fields we have in this report type. Now sometimes what happened for creating the template or we can say the report type for the other users we want to hide some fields or we can say that for the security purpose we want to hide some uh, important fields. So for that. Uh, as I scroll down. So here you can see here we have total fields from the student object. Here you can see student info and then as I scroll down we also have another field for the course fee. 
Now these fields I want to hide from the other users so that when they want to create report on the student and the course object after selecting the custom report type that we created they could not see these fields. But in the standard report type here you can see these fields are available. Now here I am closing this one. Let's navigate to the PPT. Now we have seen what is the mean of template for reports. So now a custom report type defines which object and fields are available when creating the reports. So this one also I will explain. After that it allows you to go beyond standard report types by selecting specific relationship and making fields from the related objects accessible. Now this means while creating the report type the primary object and the secondary object must be in the relationship. The relationship can be lookup relationship or the master data relationship. Now let's understand how we can create the custom report typing Salesforce. For that again let's navigate to the Salesforce org. So here I am clicking on this gear icon then click on setup. Now in the quick find box search for the report type. Here you can see under the reports and dashboards here we have report types click on it. After that click on continue. Now here we already have some report types. We want to create new custom report type for that here you can see here we have button new custom report type. Click on this. And as I said first we need to select the primary object. So here I am selecting student. Also you can search for the object. Here you can see student object click on it. Now as I scroll down here you can see display label. So here I am providing custom student underscore course. As you click on this API name it will be automatically populate. Then provide the description. So here I am providing this is custom report type for students and course objects and then here you can see store in category now what is this category so let me show you as I navigate to the reports again so here I am opening the reports tab then click on new report and now here you can see here we have category in that category we have recently used all accounts and contacts like this here we have different categories. Now the report type that we are going to create in which category we want to store that we need to specify there. So here I am selecting other report types here you can see here we have other reports after that as you scroll down here you can see set availability. So in the set availability here you can see and in deployment report type is visible only to users with the manage custom report types permissions. So what does it mean if any report type in the in deployment status then that report type only visible for those users who has managed custom report type permission. And after that if you select the deployed status that means that report type it is available for the all users. Now for the best practices if the report type is not ready then it should be in, in deployment and when it will be ready to use then you can change it from in deployment to the deployed. So here I am selecting deployed but if you are trying to create report type first time then it should be in deployment. After that click on next. Now here you can see in the primary object here we have students that we selected in the first step. Now here we have option click to relate another object. As you click on this option so here we have lookup field as you click on this field ok so here in the primary object we have selected student but the student is the child object and course is the primary object. So here we need to correct that mistake for that here I am navigating previous. And in the primary object here I am selecting course for that here I am searching for course here you can see here we have courses select this one and click on next. Now again as you click to relate another object and then as you click on this lookup here you can see here we have student object which is child object of the course object. Now here I am selecting this one and then as you scroll down here we have two options 
each A record must have at least one related B record and then another option is A records may or may not have related B records. So understand the first option, each A record must have at least one related B record. That means let's navigate to the course object. So let me close this one. So here I am searching for the course. Now here I am opening the Salesforce development record and after that as I click on this related. Now here we can see the all student records which are related to this Salesforce development course. Now the meaning of that first option, if the course record has a related secondary objects record then only those course record can visible in the report type or in the report. So here you can see in the diagram also, if the A record has the related B records, those records can be accessible in the record type. After that, another option we have, A records may or may not have related B records. That means from the course object, all records will be accessible and then from the B record, only those records will be accessible which has its parent record. For that, again let me navigate to the course object. So let me open institute CRM in that we have course and student object as well. So here I am opening the student object. Let me open any record. So here we have one course. I am searching for the record where we don't have any course. Okay, so all the records we have one selected course. Let me let me remove course from any record. So here I am selecting this one and then removing the course and then click on save. Now here you can see for this particular student here we don't have any selected course. That means as per the second option from the course object all the records will be accessible but from the student object or the secondary object only those record will be accessible who has its related or associated courses. That means this record is not accessible in the report because for this student no any course is selected. So let's navigate to the report type. So here select the option as per a requirement and then click on save. Now here you can see the details if you want to edit anything click on this pencil icon and then you can edit it. Now if you remember why we are creating report type because we don't want to display the total fees from the student object and course fee from the course object. So for that click on this edit layout and here you can see the courses fields and then student fields. Now in the course object here I am searching for the course fee, here you can see here your course fee, here I am clicking on this remove icon and here you can see the course fee is removed from these courses and get added in the available fields. Same from the student also, here I am removing total fees, here we have total fees, click on the remove and it also get added to the, here you can see in the student which is total fee. Now let's save this, the layout successfully gets saved. Now let's navigate to the report, there we will create the report. For that again here I am clicking on this setup, click on app launcher, search for the reports. So before that let me show you, as I click on this report type, again and here you can see the label that we provided, the custom report type has been successfully created. Now again navigate to the reports, click on new report. And now here you can see in the category we have selected recently used. So in the search report type, here I am selecting, here I am providing custom course student. But here you can see here we don't have result, why this? Because the report type that we created, we are searching in the recently used. You can search in the all category, otherwise other reports. Here you can see in the other reports also available. As you click on this all category, here also the report type that we created is available. Again as you click on this opportunity, again it will be disappear. Or in the opportunity category, we didn't save that report type in this category. So here I am clicking on all category and here I am selecting report type and then click on start report. So first let me remove the default filters. All courses apply, created date, all time apply. Now what is the use of this record type that we created? 
So first one is we have created the report type on two object. The first one is the course and another one is the student. That means if you want to create report on these objects, then we can select this report type. And also another use is we remove two fields from these objects so that if any confidential information in that field, the other users cannot access that fields. So here as I click on this outline and then as I click on this add column, so search for the fields that we have removed. So here I am searching for the total fees and here you can see the total fees is not found. Again, let me search for the course fee and here you can see the course fee also not visible. So in this way we can create report type in Salesforce. I hope whatever I explained you understood that. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. So whenever you post in a new video, you will get an update. Thank you.